Hello, welcome to lesson 58, Action Delegate, brought to you by Angbro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn one of the most important delegate that is Action Delegate. Right now, we'll understand what Action Delegate is. In the previous session, we learned the Funk Delegate and keep in mind the Funk and Action, they both are the generic type delegates and it, they are defined in the system namespace and uh, coming to action delegate action delegate is same as the func delegate except that action delegate does not return a value in other words an action delegate can be used with a method that has void return type keep in mind it's very important action delegate can be used with a method that has void return type to understand it very clearly let's move to the next slide here you can observe the major difference between the custom delegate as well as the action delegate defined here now normally how do we do a will initialize a delegate and this delegate as void return type and it has a parameter similarly we'll create a method which matches the delegate signature and obviously your delegate signature the method signature is matching the delegate now what we'll do is we'll create the object of the delegate then using the delegate object we are invoking the method called console print okay that's what we'll normally do with the uh, custom delegates but coming to action delegate as we know action delegate is a generic type delegate instead of uh, uh, creating the custom delegate what we'll do is directly we'll make use of the action delegate and specify the type uh, what the delegate is going to return so that is the major advantage of the action delegate and uh, creating the object of that action delegate will invoke the respective method created so this is the major difference between the custom delegate as well as the action delegate right now we'll jump into visual studio and we'll code the same and first let us do with the custom delegate how to define a delegate public delegate keyword and it's void the method name is print and it takes a parameter the parameter is int value sorry for the mistake value done Okay, now let me create a method which matches the signature public static void and the method is like let me take as console print method name is console print and it takes a parameter obviously it has to because it should match the delegate signature now let me print it yes now let me create an object of that delegate delegate name is print p equals let me call the method console print okay now using the delegate object let me invoke the method okay I have to pass a very value to that okay now when I run this obviously it builds and build succeeded and it provides the output 10 on the console screen and the problem here is every time we have to create the custom delegate but uh, let us make use of the action delegate which works with the methods that have the void return type obviously our method is having the void return type let us make use of action delegate instead of this custom delegate how do i do that it's very simple let me get rid of these two sen sentences also okay now how do i define the action delegate action delegate is a generic type delegate you can observe here now let me pass the type what it is going to take uh, here you can observe the input type is integer so i have to take int then a is the object of the delegate let me point to that method the method name is console print okay fine and let me invoke that method using the delegate object let me pass the variable value sorry and when I run this program obviously it prints 10 and that's what that's what we achieved using the action delegate uh, the major advantages of using the action delegate are can observe it's easy and quick to define the delegates as obviously it's very easy to define previously early what we are doing we are uh, defining the delegate here then creating the delegate object then invoke the method which which uh, the delegate is going to call delegate object is going to invoke but uh, coming to action delegate it's very simple specify the type what you want that action is going to take uh, and it's very easy to invoke the method also and it also makes your code short as, as you can observe L earlier it was like we used to define a delegate and it uh, and that was little bit lengthier and but coming to action delegate it's very short and simple the code is very short and simple that's what the major advantage of using the action delegate and and that's what we achieved in this session we learned what action delegate is and what's the advantage of using action delegate also and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to Anchor training below don't forget to give the feedback